This video continues to raise awareness about love styles to improve the quality of your relationships. We are going to look into victim love style in this video. I am always complained and feel powerless. Calm situation makes me scary because I expect something bad to happen any minute. Those who could relate with victim love style or think that your spouse could be a victim can be benefited by this video. Also you can look into the previous video on know your love style from the link given in the description. This video helps people with victim love style get an insight about themselves and improves empathy for their partners by taking a peek onto their childhood experiences which shaped up them this way and also the negative impact it has on oneself, their relationship with spouse and children, their work life and on their health. This attempts to give you enough reasons to change to secure love style. Let's look into what type of childhood shapes it, understanding victims. Victims grow up in a constant state of anxiety and dread. They likely develop this from growing up in a chaotic homes with one or both parents being very angry and violent, punished for speaking up or expressing one's opinions, had abusive parents who took out a great deal of their anger and stress on them. As a result, the child feels unloved and often is treated as such by the parents. Let's see how a victim love style develops in more detail. Begins with a complaint and passive child. Children who develop a victim love style are typically more complaint and passive, doing whatever it takes to pacify or avoid the chaotic and abusive parents. They learn that the best way to survive is to be complaint and to stay under the radar so that they don't attract a lot of attention to themselves. Condition to not assert any needs. Parents in chaotic homes ignore the needs of their children since these parents are often children themselves living inside adult bodies. So the children never learn how to assert needs because when they do, they face abuse for voicing their needs. Thirdly, they are avid readers of others' moods. Most victims learn how to read the current mood of their parents in an effort to avoid rocking the boat. From a very young age, they learn to hide and stay quiet whenever the violent parent is around because they know the parent might get triggered by anything and take out his or anger on them. Sadly, this is often an exercise in futility because the child can never fully stop or predict when another meltdown is coming. Let's see how victim styles are as adults. As a result of these traumatic childhood experiences, Children who grow to be victims build imaginary worlds inside their minds where they can escape to when the reality within the home becomes too unbearable. They feel powerless when it comes to effective, effecting change in others. Since they learn to be complained ever since childhood, victims will always go with the flow even during adulthood and will have a hard time resisting the influence of others or maintaining their personal boundaries. Even in times of relative calmness, victims might still feel uneasy because they expect something nasty to blow up any minute. Let's see what the spouse feels about the victims. The spouses of victims are initially attracted to them due to the victim's compliance and non-resistance. However, much later in the relationship, the spouse might start seeing them as a kid and start hating them because of their weakness. Ironically, victims may end up in relationship with controllers who have the beha same behaviors the victim had to deal with when growing up. You can look into controller love style for more details. Let's see the drawbacks to this love style. About how this love style impact one's relationship, work, personal life as well as family life. Let's see how victim love style affects one's work. At work, chronic pessimistic outlook can irritate and weird on victims' colleagues, spoiling the team's overall happiness. Victims may make mistakes or cause delays that they could have prevented so that they can blame other people or highlight some perceived difficulty in their working conditions. Their behavior can swing from victim to victimizer. One minute they may play the victim and seek attention. The next minute, the person with the victim love style may blame someone else or hurt those who try to help them. 
they have external locus of control this means they believe that everything that happens to them is beyond their control and is down to fate luck or other people's behavior as a result they may not feel that they can trust them with any important tasks or expect them to take responsibility for an outcome this can drastically affect their productivity and team working at their work let's see how victim lifestyle can have a negative impact on their relationships in relationships victims usually suppress their anger which then leads to passive aggressive behaviors it can lead to serious problems in a marriage their partners prefer them to have this lifestyle because they become easier to control and manipulate victims see themselves as unworthy and unlovable being treated badly by their partner feeds into this belief number 1 they often feel detached and averse to vulnerability since victim children disassociate from their feelings in an effort to emotionally survive victim adults bring that same avoidance of their own emotions and vulnerability into their marriages as well anxieties run widespread since a victim grew up in a home with volatility around every corner he or she often struggles with anxiety and that carries over into marriage this is also where the victim's ability to read the moods of others kicks in causing all sorts of havoc for a couple addictive tendencies another way to deal with the high level of anxiety the victim child feels is to self medicate bringing some level of calm to the inner storm this can be any addictions from food perfectionism and or codependent relationships to alcohol sexual obsessions and or drugs often these begin in childhood and are never addressed for what they are in the adulthood since they are viewed as coping mechanisms secrecy is a way of life since issues or emotions weren't uh, tolerated in childhood victims grow into adults that keep their feelings or problems to themselves and often hide from their mates what they are doing to cope with the stress they feel in marriage or life complain to a fault victims often bend towards backwards to ensure that their spouse are protected and pleased that's why victim love styles are often attracted to controller love styles because the controllers continues to victimize the victim they are both comfortable in that unhealthy dynamic because it is very familiar victims often feel empty emotionally going through the motions of simply just living victims may imitate their experience to someone more vulnerable than them like their children as they suppress their anger they generally take it out on children instead of directing at it at the partner let's see how this victim love style affects one's personal life as well as mental health victims may disassociate from reality or fall into addiction as a way of dealing with problems in their lives they often lack commitment and enthusiasm at life they develop a negative view of life because they don't think anything is their fault they have little or no sense of responsibility for their life they are not willing to be in charge of their life it just happens to them they often have low self esteem and do not have their own opinions or adult voice they may also struggle with anxiety and depression if this is you there is no need to stay here you need not remain a helpless hurting victim forever not do you have to perpetuate the cycle by creating victims in your children people with victim love style should rather aim at minimizing their pain and not just simply waiting for things to get better they need also to build their self esteem and support so that they can face their current victimizers they have to realize that their anger and resentment are expected it's all right to have and process these feelings with a good therapist they have to overcome their past hurts and move forward with confidence and strength they also have to remain in a place of physical emotional and mental safety victims can break free and become a happy healthy individual with happy and healthy relationships upcoming video will dive into how to make steps towards this to become a secure connector wait for our next video best wishes